Okay, for those people that uh, support Sabre and also want to sell Sabre and demonstrate it to their clients, um, we've created a suite of demo data where you can demonstrate the different functions within Sabre and how they work. So once you've installed the install that will be given to you, um, if you ask our sales staff or contact us by email, we can send you the link to download the full application of the training and uh, demonstration of all the different uh, things that can be done with Sabre. Um, then you'll find on the desktop, once you've installed Sabre, you've got the Sabre EXE, which is the main program, and you've got another folder, which is Sabre Tasks. So if you open Sabre Tasks, um, my shortcut just says Sabre, but Sabre Tasks will give you a list of all the different tasks that Sabre runs. And inside there, once you've installed the demo data, you'll have the demo menu. So if I run the demo menu, this will come up. And uh, the best place to start is where it says start here. If you're a new user and you're just installing it for demonstration purposes, uh, there's nothing that needs to be done on the Start Here page. Um, this is really for somebody that's already got a registered version of Sabre because the demo databases that we install overwrite the existing database, so you don't want to lose the client's existing data. So the suggestion is uh, you can ignore this if you're a new user. And um, and uh, this is the video that you're watching at the moment is this little icon over here that says please use this menu system click on that and it'll explain how to get around on this menu system or how to use this menu system so if you click here this will back up your existing database so you won't lose anything that you've got in existence it'll keep a good backup of it and later when you want to restore back to your original database you click over here to restore the original database and uh, if you want to restore to a brand new database, in other words, if you did a new install from the beginning and you want to get back to the new install, you click on this option over here. So this will restore your original database if you've backed it up. And this will restore the original install of Sabre, so you're back to the beginning of Sabre. Anyway, to get around here, we've got a whole lot of different options. There's time and attendance. Under time and attendance, you can see how to export uh, to VIP past the payroll or pastel payroll, it works a similar way. Um, also, you can go through the full payslip of Sabre, Sabre software. And uh, we've got a version that shows you the shortfall hours, so you can see how that works and how some clients want to use shortfall hours. And then we've got a version that's configured for schools. And then we've got the light version of Sabre, which is basically the, the, full, time, uh, the full access control version. Um, gives you a lot of functionality on the physical biometric hardware and uh, by default on the full time and attendance you get the light version of the um, of, of the, the, the time and attendance version with the access control sorry so the full access control version you get uh, the light version of time and attendance which will give you the first and last out and total hours as will the basic free version the free to use version of the time and attendance which also works as a basic version of the full access control. So hopefully I haven't confused you too much. Anyway, so if you want to see the, the, the presentation of this, where I go through it um, without you having to install or change your software, um, you just click on this little button over here, which is the uh, play button for the YouTube video. So I'll click on that now just so you can see how that works. And that obviously goes for any of these. So if we click on this one, It'll open up the, okay, so the training go on that. The time and attendance um, version, or at least let's see some of the time and attendance versions. As well I'll just as go the, forward so you can I'll see. Click on that, and then I'll click on save the video. So this is ready to show you. Go next, you import your data. So if you go to the end of that, you'll see it going through to VRP. That's the format of the way it needs to look for VRP. Or okay. you can so go through it. all of that now. Just to continue. And that's the time and attendance modules. Um, then you've got the um, the oh, sorry. So just to explain to you, by clicking on any of these buttons, you're restoring what I've shown you in the video to your computer with the date periods that have set, with the logon details, with everything. So you can follow it through, or your client can follow it through. You can actually change um, data if you wanted to, um, so that you can actually see the final results yourself and you can see how the software works so you can see if it's for you or not for you. Um, automated tasks, 
um, is basically the, the, the services, which are, are these over here. And these will all run correctly as well um, if, it, if it's configured to run. So I can't guarantee it for every single demo, but um, I'm going to get there eventually where all of these will also run. Um, but it's just configuration related. Anyway, so that's the time of attendance. Here's the access control. So I demonstrate the light version of the uh, uh, the full, sorry, the, the Sabre full access control version is uh, labeled as Sabre Light because um, this doesn't include the full time and attendance through to payroll. And then we've got a residential version which um, changes the whole configuration so that you don't have employees, you've now got residents. Um, but you'll see it all in the video there, but uh, what happens is it controls the actual unit that the person stays in, um, the parking bays, storage areas, and access within a residential complex. And then we have uh, Save a Visitor solution, and uh, then the Save a Free to Use basic version of access control. And then on other products, we've got the standalone Save a Payroll, where there's no time and attendance at all related to it. And then I demonstrate the BioPC, which is basically an emulation of a physical biometric reader um, on the PC that uses the enrollment reader as the time and attendance reader. And then you can have a look and see how the branding works so that a reseller can brand Sabre to be their own. And there's no cost to this, as well as the installation of skins to change the look and feel of the application to look as your own. And then this is just a short video on how the time and attendance wizard works and the process that it goes through, which is covered in all the others anyway, but uh, it's just one of the most key points to running the software if you're doing it on a manual basis. And that's about it. Um, so that's there. And then you've got to contact us with our details. Um, send us an email from there. Um, visit our website. and. To get updates on the actual um, uh, demo data, you click over here to check for updates and uh, you follow the process and once that's all updated, you'll get all the latest changes and improvements on these databases. And like I say, once you've finished looking at your videos, you can restore your original database or you can restore the initial new install of the database so that you can register the software as your own. And just to explain that the registration will give you three months unlimited use of the full version of the software and you'll still get unlimited support if you contact us. So please go ahead and try it out for yourself and see if you enjoy it.